Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be looking back at Pygame. And what we're going to be actually doing is adding a little explosion sprite to our little interactive blocks moving around. So alright, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So last time, we've now got these little blocks that they come and they rain down and then they vanish and we've used the kill method on our sprites. So why don't we replace this interaction with maybe an explosion image. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's why it is so important for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new here because that's what we do. We build one video upon the other. Alright, so this is going to be a new object, so we just need to go ahead and explain it, or create it. Explosion, and we're just taking in our regular sprite inheritance. Now, this default life, okay. So what this is, is this is going to be very similar to our delay. This is going to be how many frames will the image stay on. And I'm using this so for a little bit of inheritance so we can get in the habit of using these. So okay, we need to bring in our, this is pretty standard. Our initiation method now this is new right here and we're going to change a couple of these because this again this is the way we did it so all right here's our sprite initiation we're bringing this in and and we'll talk about center here in a minute because this is the information that is going to be where the image is going to go and then we'll talk about how long it's going to stay there all right so now we need to bring in the image, self dot image, and we are just going to game pi game dot image dot load, and it is just a file that I've had, and you can just go get your own and use it. All right, so now, now this is going to use where it's going to go. So self, oops, actually I need to create the block. Self.rect equals self.image.getRect. And if you'll remember, that's just to take take the image that we created here and go ahead and wrap it around the object. Okay, now here we go. Self.rect.center equals center. So, <coughs> excuse me. So to remind you of here, to remind you of what this center is, is in Pygame, around our rect object, we had three at the top. The X, the center, and at, at the end, then a center row, and we had, we had nine dots. Three at the top, three in the middle, and three at the bottom. This center is dead center. So this is gonna be pulling from our object up here in just a minute and I'll show you so all right now now the life of the object life equals self dot default life if I spell right All right, now I need to do an update. 
Now, I could have just put this in and hardwired it, but I want us to get into the habit of doing this right here. All right, default or uh, update. Okay. Update self. Then self life. Going to increment life. Increment it down each passing of a frame. One. And then if self life is greater than or equal to zero, then self dot kill. And we know what that does. So, all right. Here's all the work that this is being done. Now, so if we were to run this, we're going to fail because it's going to say that it's only expecting one object or one, one argument. But in our blocks that it's going to kind of inherit the location, it's going to have too much. So we're going we're gonna to get rid of these. So we're going to hardwire this in to here. So 50, 50, color red. So then we need to come down here and get rid of all of this. All right? Does that make sense? So we don't need to take any arguments because they're all hardwired in here. So now, here's where the interesting work happens. All right. Sprite dot add is it sprite or sprites? It's sprites. Now this is where it gets fun. Explosion center. Ha. So now, just so you can think about it, this image, this object, is going to take the place of these bad blocks when they kill at the bottom of the screen. So it needs to know where to go. It knows it, it knows its size and image and everything like this. So now this is where this comes from. So it's going to take this object center, replace it with its own, so there. So that's what this is doing. So self dot rect dot center okay does that make sense so then when so this is replacing this image simultaneously when this block is being killed when it gets to this location on the screen let's go ahead and run it and see how I typed oops and I forgot another parenthesis run it again okay so who's excited let's see make sure we can see everything there we go you ready boom 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 what you guys think about that it is literally that simple so now I'm looking at the wrong one so now we need to add so right now we got a little bit of jankiness as my kid would say so we have some reaction, but right now we do not have any collision. So drop any comments down below if we want to do a collision next or if we want to do sound. I don't care. We got to do both. So all right. There we go, guys. A little bit longer video today. But if we can see, we're really getting close because the next time we're going to change this block into maybe, I don't know, rocks, bullets. Why don't we drop that down? We'll, we'll do that uh, next time. But see how close we are to actually having a functioning game? Granted, it's a silly game. Not really purpose, but you guys have built this. So there we go. So all right, guys. Please drop any comments, questions, any video requests below. You guys are doing awesome. Micro videos, one bite at a time. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.